Do you remember the day when we could export out our LinkedIn connections and get their email addresses? I do. It's been a long time. It's gone. I kind of, you know, happy, not happy about it. I'm happy about it because it helps to shut down the spam. I'm unhappy about it because I use that list very intentionally. So today, there really is no way to email all of our, or message all of our LinkedIn connections at once, with the exception of one tactic. And that's newsletters. You can create a LinkedIn newsletter. You do that from writing an article. Choose whether you're gonna write it for your personal or for one your business page. And when you're writing that article under manage, you can create a newsletter. Now, I can't find the LinkedIn help that clearly states this. I know that they'll notify my network when you publish the first edition and they'll invite new followers, connections and followers, to subscribe. What I haven't found clearly is, do they still send an email? Or is that notification only within LinkedIn? And, and then the subscribers, I know, will get an email for every new newsletter I publish. But it was it used to be a while back that that initial notification was not only in LinkedIn notifications, but in email. And if that's still the case, this is the only way you can send an email, one-time email, to all of your LinkedIn connections and followers. And then the only way they can get subsequent emails from you is if they, in fact, subscribe to your newsletter. Now, we've got one other tactic I want to share with you, but I want to also encourage you to be very purposeful and deliberate because you don't want to violate the LinkedIn's terms of services and get in trouble. But you can have five newsletters. Now, if it does send an email the first time as it used to, this means you can send five emails. But I'm telling you right now to be very, very careful. Again, you do not want to violate the LinkedIn's terms of services. And by the way, the only way you can create a newsletter is if you meet the criteria. And I think that's right here. Yeah, the criteria is you need to have at least 150 followers and con or connections. You need to have content, original content that you put out on LinkedIn already. And again, you need to be very clear that you're not violating the professional community policies where you run the chance of getting your LinkedIn account restricted, maybe even permanently. So read this help document, go verify that you have creator tools uh, set up, and then you could create a newsletter that can get sent to at least notify, if not even emailed, to all of your followers and connections. By the way, I want to be very intentional here to make sure that if you want to use newsletters and you want to get value for them, you need to make sure you're creating a newsletter that provides value to your subscribers. You want a really good title, you want to be very purposeful about your frequency of how often you're going to send it. You need a really clear description that speaks to your target audience. You want a good logo image. And most importantly, you want to write content in your newsletter, in the individual articles of your newsletter that resonate and bring value to your subscribers. I'm Teddy your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.